Good afternoon. It is Sunday, October the 9th, and we're here for another haul. This is after church. I told you guys last week about the struggle we're having here in Florida with the groceries and um, grocery grocery stores are very low on products and different things. And this is my week for my usually a pretty big haul. So it was a struggle. I had to wait until Sunday to do a pickup because a lot of the items was not available at the time when I was trying to do my orders on a normal. I pick up on Friday or Saturday. And plus I had to work Saturday. A lot of things going on this week. Just just keep the lawsuits in prayer. <laughs> keep us in prayer. But uh, let's turn around and look at what we have have a lot of substitutions. Not a lot of substitutions, but a lot of things that I had to substitute. They didn't substitute. I had to do a pick of it. So here we go. <clears throat> Let's start over here. Up top here, we have some bananas. They didn't have my normal organic bananas. And these bananas are not going to be edible for days, as you can see. Down here we have some little potatoes. I had to replace those because I like I normally like to get those golden to potatoes because they have a natural buttery taste to them. So, but I got these because I'm gonna make meatloaf and potatoes and vegetables in our meals to this week. Here we got some peanuts for you know who my squirrely foods. And I couldn't get the Walmart brand, so I went ahead and got planners. And then we got some in the shell here uh, as well. And then I have some cream of mushroom. That's just a restock for my pantry. Up top, we have coffee, our favorite. McCafe. Down here, we have some old-fashioned oats. Got to make some... um oatmeal ball um energy balls again and i totally ran out of oats believe it or not <laughs> and here back here we have the ghirardelli chocolate that i put in the oats oatmeal bars and this is the honey that i use for it so it's remember it's honey chocolate chips natural oats and then a little bit of um vanilla seasoning up here we have turkey breasts i think that's labeled wrong <laughs> i'm not sure that pricing on that because that's a whole pound there then we have some um cheese for sandwiches salad here um, witch hazel. I use that as an astringent on my face. Some uh, wax melts. They weren't. They didn't have all the wax melts that I need. But you know that wax melts are used just to freshen up your house. <clears throat> Breadcrumbs here. Italian style breadcrumbs for the meatloaf that I'm going to make. And a restock of the Himalayan salt. And my favorite, everything, the bagel. That goes with, the, it's good on um, avocado toast. Or anything that you really like. I like it on eggs as well, boiled eggs. We have our regular fig bars. And then I also got these. And what happened is that they didn't have the fig bars when I was ordering. So I went ahead and got these to replace them. And then right before I sent my order, they had the fig bars. So got a double double for it. The regular grooves that everybody likes, the Cheez-Its. These are a new snack in the house. And then we have the regular Toasty Lance crackers, the peanut butter crackers. They love those as well. We have some extra virgin olive oil. I was running low on that and then restock. This is a uh, fajita seasoned chicken. I have some uh, wraps that we're going to 
probably have fajitas as well. <clears throat> and then some ground turkey. Jenny O ground turkey for my meatloaf. Vegetables. There's a roasted potatoes and mixed vegetables. Some celery. I usually order small celery sticks that are placed in that are small for snacking, but they sent these. So I guess I'm gonna stick with that. We have broccoli. And here's the problem. <laughs> they had no regular Dunkin' Donut creamer, which my men are addicted to. They had pumpkin munchkin, whatever that is. And so I went ahead and bought some almond creamer and some co um, coffee mate for to replace that. So they can choose which one of those they're going to, this is going to last for a while. Because usually I keep about two or three in the bottom of the refrigerator for, and they are on the last one for the Dunkin' because I haven't been able to order it. It's been out. Got some zucchini for vegetables. Their regular Sara Lee bread, not available. <clears throat> and so we got some potato bread. Up top, we have some paper plates and a pineapple to cut up for salad. And here is water. Water was difficult to find. Had no um, Sam's Club any type of water available or Aquafina. So I had to go with this Pure Life. Got that. And then I got a couple of jugs of water um, to stay stable. Then we have toilet paper and paper towels. I didn't get my normal big size because I'm not out, but I wanted to restock completely. We have ranch dressing. And then we have uh, sesame flavoring. I'm going to try something out with that. Make something, some a new recipe I'm going to try out. Chick-fil-A sauce and the Tyson chicken uh, sandwich, uh, patties that they love. And there we have it. That's our haul for this week. It's not very big and it was $200. <laughs> a little over $200. But you have to do what you have to do. And here we are. So thank you for watching. And again, thank you for um, subscribing to the channel. Like, comment, and uh, share it for people who you know that love hauls. I do a haul every week, usually. And we normally do some um, couples chat, but we haven't done that in a few months. So, but life gets busy so keep us in your prayers we thank you and we love you and there's nothing you can do about it thanks